Welcome to the Oxen Group Nightly. My name is David Ristow. I'm the CEO, President, and Founder of the Oxen Group. Please check us out at www.theoxengroup.com for all your financial analysis and investment ideas needs. In tonight's Oxen Group Nightly, for June 14th, we're going to be looking at our Tuesday market wrap-up. We'll be taking a look at some of the new positions we got in today with Under Armour and some calls on the USO, as well as some of the other current positions and exits we had today. I'll be updating you on what's going on in Giorgio's corner as well as in our extended value portfolio. Forecasting the day for tomorrow and as always, please check out our disclaimer at the end of the video. So we had uh, another good day in the market today. It's back-to-back -back up days and makes it three out of four to the upside. Um, I think we got to stop the presses. Uh, this is uh, what's going on in the market. We're starting to get a couple of good days together. Um, and it's, you know, after coming after a, a slew of pretty good news today, we had retail sales come in better than expected. They did have a slight drop of 0.2% month over month, but it was much better than the 0.7% expectations. And actually, I think that little statistic right there is actually maybe a sign of what might be to come this month. You know, everyone's talking about the doom and gloom of, you know, we're going to have a lot of terrible data come out this month. But if the expectations are very bad, then most analysts are probably going to drop their expectations because you know they want to get closer to what they think actually probably is going to come out now. And so that's going to set us up to be easily able to beat expectations on, on all these reports, um, which is going to then seem good for the market, which is then it just drives right back up. Um, so I would actually think that, you know, that we got a lot of bad news, but you know, it's pretty cyclical in the news and you know, we're going to start to I think probably get a few good reports in a row going here in a row. Um, also, Chinese inflation came out today. It's only at 5.5% um, which for the past month, which was much better than the 6% uh, that was expected. Um, that really helped uh, the markets out today and also helped drop the dollar a little bit and allow the equities to look a little bit stronger than um, they might have if the dollar had been stronger. Um, business inventories came in today a little bit under expectations at 0.8%. Uh, um, you can see the aggregate business inventories. Um, a nice drop in inventories um, month over month. That's good to see um, after they came in pretty strong in um, March. Um, so uh, definitely good to see that the inventories have dropped back down. Um, we don't want to see them in the negative, obviously, um, but it is good to see that means that more demand's coming in and that businesses are not holding as much in inventory, probably have been able to sell more goods. That's also why we saw the retail sales better than expected. Uh, market has the best day of its month. Um, we gained early on in the day on the data that came out for the retail sales as well as business inventories um, and the Chinese fl inflation. Um, continued higher throughout pretty much the entire day um, up until about the last hour and then the last hour started to give up some of those gains. I think that pullback though in the last hour really is not unexpected and was actually pretty healthy. Um, you know, we dropped about 30 points from that kind of high there to the, to the close. And that's actually not, not too bad of a sell-off, especially considering we were up about 165 to 170 points at the high of the day. Um, and so the you know, market gave up a little bit at the end of the day, um, so people locking in some profits. Um, but in reality, that little sell-off allows action for more buying to come into the market. And we saw that nice little, actually, that stick right at the end of the day in the last about 10 minutes um, that sort of put us back up a little bit more. Um, today we were playing, uh, we played Under Armour today. We got in... Um, we were looking for the stock uh, to break. It had three barriers today at $69. Um, it had uh, a 20-day exponential moving average, a 50-day simple moving average, and the top of a price channel. And we put in a buy stop at 69.10. Um, and when the stock broke out there, we went from 69.10 to about almost to 70 right away. Um, we were able to get in right at that 69.10 level. I mean, it broke out from 69 all the way up. Um, and we uh, sold at the end of the day. Um, we never hit our first target, which was for uh, a break over 70, um, but we did sell at about 69.65 towards the end of the day. Um, a third of our position we got rid of. We wanted to lock in a little bit of gains, got you know about a close to about a 0.7% gain um, on the stock from our entry there. Um, and you know the stock did close above those three resistance those three resistance lines. So those resistance lines from today now become support lines. You can see right there. There's the 50 day. Um, and so this stock is going to have a lot of support below there, and um, you know it may be ready to try and fill this gap that it that it got um, back up to 75, where it dropped from after their last round of earnings. Um, you know, just got a couple upgrades 
um, in the last couple weeks, and um, stock showing a lot of good volume coming into it, a lot of green, big bars coming into this stock, showed some great support when the market was moving to the downside. I like this stock a lot. Some people said maybe this run is over for it, but I don't think so. I think we could see in the next week here, maybe 74, 75 on the stock if it can really get going, get a little bit more momentum underneath it. Um, we also bought some USO calls at the beginning of the day at, for 0.72. Um, those are the July $40 calls on USO. Um, we were able to sell those for a uh, about 11% gain and a 25% gain intraday, um, which allowed us to average out for about an 18% gain as oil made its way back up to just over $99 a barrel. Um, however, I'm still a little skeptical that I think that oil, I mean, we did say, we came out last week and we were pretty bearish on oil this week, and we'll get down to 96. We're right here on this technical support line on the moving average. Um, and I think, you know, basically it was just pretty much range bound for now uh, between 96 and probably 102. So I would be along on, at 96. Um, I am a little worried about tomorrow um, with the dollar, with the, the news that we have coming out today that the dollar might start to show a little bit of strength, which would probably drop oil back down. Um, and I would be a, I would be going long anytime this this thing moves towards move, towards its moving average here, um, which is around 96. But that's going to actually move up to about 97 here pretty soon. Um, other than that, we uh, our position in um, Hanson's Natural Foods made a nice comeback today to a little bit above our entry. Um, we're up about, I think, about a quarter of a percent on that now. Um, and we did sell the final 25% of our Ruth, uh, Ruth Hospitality Group position for a 5% gain. Um, we set a stop loss at the 5% gain, and we're looking to try and get a 10% gain on the day. I'm hoping that maybe the stock would break out even a little bit higher with such a good day, but the stock did pull back for most of the day. Um, Giorgio had a nice day also in his Giorgio's corner. He uh, made a couple 2% gains on some options plays. Um, he had sold uh, last week some Apple 320 puts um, at the end of last week. He covered those today, and he also made just under 10% selling a couple $15 Cisco puts. Um, those did well at the, you know, when the stock hit 15, sort of bounced off that level and had a nice um, rally off that. Um, we also released today Residential Construction Equity Analytics. You can check that out at our website. Um, we're covering 12 companies. In the residential construction industry, we've got price targets on those, buy, sell, hold ratings, um, buy and sell targets, um, and I'll just give you a little preview. Our three buy picks are um, MI Homes, um, NVR, and Lennar, um, and our top scoring company, um, well, it's, it's a hold rating, um, the top scoring company um, in equity analytics, so that looks at growth, profitability, financial health, management, and value. Um, we take those five scores and aggregate them together um, to get a total score. And the best total scoring company was DR Horton, DHI. So, um, but you know, all those companies have tons of information about them. We did a lot of research on these companies, um, found a lot of interesting information. You'll be surprised to see what some of the companies that you know maybe the market likes a little bit that we don't like. Um, and you can check that out. If you don't have a premium membership or a long-term membership, um, you can try out a free trial on our website and be able to view that. Um, it's a 23-page report. A lot of time and effort went into it, so definitely check it out. Uh, for tomorrow, um, you know, market's risen for two days, and I think you know I talked about um, last week at the end of last week that we think I think we have a range set right now from 12,000 on the bottom to, to 12,200. So we're about right there in the middle of that range right now. I think we go continue up to about 12,200. I think we get to there. We're going to definitely see some resistance there. If we continue to get this slew of good news, though, there's no reason why we can't break through 12,200, but I do think we're going to get heavy resistance there. we got a lot of an economic data out tomorrow. can definitely get us to 12,200 in a heartbeat with some of the things that are coming out tomorrow. Also could drop us down to 12,000 in a heartbeat as well. we got CPI coming out tomorrow. That's going to be interesting to look at the difference between CPI and PPI. PPI was lower than expected today, so hopefully CPI is lower than expected. If it's higher than expected, then that means the consumer, those consumers are paying a lot more uh, for the producers' um, inflation than we want to pay. Um, we got industrial production out tomorrow, the Empire Manufacturing Index, the NHAB Housing Market Index. Hopefully, ho housing prices didn't dip anymore. And also, the crude inventories report tomorrow. So, a lot of things on the table for tomorrow. It's going to be another exciting day in the market, and we're looking forward to it. Um, check us out at www.theactiongroup.com. Email us at contact at theactiongroup.com. Call us. Be a part of our 70% accuracy.